so sorry about that delay. But hello, uh, welcome to the second part of our program. Camille, do you want to say what we have today? Yes, so today we read this book. It's called Hello Twins by Charlotte Book with permission from Candlewick Press. And we dressed as twins today. We look so much alike. The book was kind of about how uh, even though the two, the twins are twins, they don't look that much alike. They don't act that much alike. They're not exactly the same. But today for our craft, we're going to be making chains of paper dolls. And when you finish your train, they actually will be all the same. So we're making essentially this. And it's really very easy once you get the hang of it. We're just going to show you um, how to do that. Camille, do you know what twins are in Spanish? I do. I believe it's gemelos. Hoy es todo sobre gemelos. Miss Camille nos compartió un libro de unos, un par de gemelos que son muy diferentes. Ellos les gustan diferentes cosas. Y aprendimos que los gemelos no son iguales. Tienen sus propias tienen sus propios gustos, les gustan hacer otras cosas. Y hoy vamos a hacer unos gemelos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we kind of got two sets of twins that we're going to make. So the first thing that you need, I just want to let you know what materials you need. It's extremely simple. I guarantee you have everything at home. You need printer paper. You can use different colors. I do recommend using kind of a thin paper though. Cardstock or uh, construction paper might be a little bit too thick for this and you'll see why in a minute. But we're just using different colored printer paper. And first we're just going to fold it in half long ways, a hot dog style. Eh, los materiales para el programa son cosas que tienen en casa. Lo más importante es tener una hoja de papel mm -hmm. que, que no sea tan gruesa porque vamos a doblar varias veces y vamos a recortar mm -hmm. muchos detalles. Entonces es importante uh, usar un papel que sea un poquito delgado. Si ustedes no tienen un papel así, pueden usar papel que usan para la escuela mm -hmm. con líneas. Yeah. Entonces lo vamos a doblar así. So we, I folded my paper. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now you're just going to cut it right down the middle on that line. Entonces lo doblamos a la mitad y lo vamos a recortar. Because you want kind of a strip of paper. You don't want it to be too wide. Entonces ya voy a estar recortando mi papel. Okay. Great. Now, you can set one of the pieces aside because you're only going to need one of them. And when you grab one of your halves of your sheet of paper, first fold it in half. Y lo doblamos otra vez. Así. That's right. And once you have it like this, fold it in half one more time. Entonces, otra vez lo vamos a doblar. Así lo doblo. Mm -hmm. And we're just folding it to make creases. You're going to unfold it in a second here. Looks good. Yeah, we're going to unfold it. Perfect. Okay, so now you've got a piece of paper with three creases in it. And now you're going to start folding it accordion style from one end, kind of using these um, folds as, as a guide to tell you where to fold okay. next. Entonces vamos a doblar en forma de acordeón. So, yeah. so you may want to kind of look at me for this, but you're going to fold one end in half towards that crease. So like this. Yes, perfect. Yeah. So you got your crease here and you're just folding that in towards that. And then fold it back. Like I said, we're folding accordion style and you just do that same thing all the way across. Perfect. So when the next thing you need to do is kind of draw half of a doll. 
So for instance, let me show you on this. I drew it when I made this one, I drew this half of the doll. Half of the doll. Entonces, yeah. en el papel vamos a dibujar la mitad de una muñeca, o si quieren hacer un muñeco. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like a girl in a dress. You can just do, you know, an arm and a, and a leg. You don't have to do any particular clothing. You can do whatever you want with this. But on, you're going to start drawing the top of the head on the side where the crease is. That's really important. So I'm going to start drawing my little person. Okay, yo voy a, lo voy a dibujar y luego se los voy a enseñar. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We'll draw our figures and I'm going to try to, um, get it close to the camera so you can see exactly what we're doing. Yeah. So you also, it, so you can see how I did mine. I drew the head and then I, I stretched the arm all the way over to the loose side of the paper, the side of the paper that's not creased. And you do need it to go all the way over and make sure that it touches that side. See how I did that? It's okay, they look different because Things are different. Exactly. They don't have to be exactly the same. So yours is going to look a little different. Too, yeah, right? that's fine. I'm doing a little dress like I did originally. That's how you need to draw it. Entonces, con la pluma y lápiz van a dibujar la mitad de una muñeca o un muñeco y luego lo vamos a recortar. So now we get out our scissors and you just draw and you just cut around the black lines that you drew. Make sure you're not cutting like down the side that's creased. Uh, make sure and make sure that, like I said, that arm is touching the other side because that's how they're all going to hold hands. You need to make sure that that's still connected. Entonces, Yeah, and now is the part where if you're following along, you're going to see why it's important that the paper be thin. <laughs> Hold on, there you go. Because it gets really hard to cut through, you know, eight pieces of paper if it's a really thick piece of paper. So you want to use one that's kind of thin. Entonces, es muy importante escoger un papel, una hoja que no sea muy gruesa, porque como ven, estamos recortando mucho y tiene, lo doblamos varias veces y se les va a hacer muy difícil recortar esos pedacitos chiquitos. Yes. Are you ready for the reveal? I'm ready. ¿Están listos? We have two sets of twins. We got four dolls. Or a set of quadruplets, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Should we count them in English and Spanish? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to contar juntos. We're going to count in English and in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to say it in English and then I'll say yes, it in Spanish? Yes, can you point so I can hold the, hold the ends? Or, yeah, or you can Oh, there we go. All right, we've got one, Uno, two, dos, three, tres, four, cuatro. type of chain with really anything that's symmetrical on the right and the left that's like a mirror image. So for instance, I made these that are birds. So I, I love doing these. I think they're really fun and they're really easy and you can do it with lots of different things. It doesn't have to be dolls. You can do birds, you can do like airplanes, butterflies would be cute. Uh, there are lots of possibilities. <laughs> Pueden hacer cualquier, cualquier otra forma con que quieran hacer. Entonces, mi amigo, ella hizo unos pajaritos. Mm -hmm. Y sí, si ustedes lo hacen en casa, por favor, de decirnos qué hacen ustedes en casa. Si quieren um, tomarnos, uh, tomarse una foto de lo que hicieron, nos pueden mandar a nosotros. Nos encanta ver lo que ustedes hacen en casa. Perfect. So we do have a, a goodbye song for y'all today, but I think first we have a couple of announcements. Tenemos unos anuncios. Entonces, cada semana les decimos que si quieren 
venir a la biblioteca a recoger um, uno de estos folletos. Um, every, uh, every week our same announcement is to please come to the library and pick up your program bag. Si no pueden venir a la biblioteca, los tenemos en línea. If you are unable to come to the library, we do have a PDF version of this. But it's important to have this because you have all the details and all the list of programs we have. Mm -hmm. Because this is bilingual song and story time, I want to invite you guys to our interactive Spanish for kids. Mm -hmm. So this program is on Zoom. It's free. It's on Saturdays um, till October 31st. So Saturdays at 11.30, you guys can learn Spanish. And it, um, it is for ages 9 and 12. And we have art programs. We have math programs. We have so many cool programs for you guys. Tenemos muchos programas gratis que son en línea por Zoom y en Facebook. Entonces, si quieren, si quieren hacer parte de estos programas, por favor, te recoger uno de estos folletos o visitar nuestra página de web. Yeah, so, and then, of course, the announcement that I have every week is that at Shotwell Library, we do have uh, pickup kits that are different crafts every week that you can just come inside and grab. And they are free, and like I said, different every week. So if you got, if you got this week's, for instance, next week's is going to be something different. Next week, the craft is going to be an easy weaving craft with yarn and popsicle sticks, and it's going to look really cute. It's going to be fun, so you should definitely come grab one of those. Uh, so in the biblioteca de Shotwell, cada semana tenemos manualidades para llevar y cada semana uh, son algo, algo distinto, es, un, es una manualidad distinta. Um, entonces vayan para recogerlos um, la semana entrante en Shotwell. And with all that said, I guess we can do our goodbye song. Sí, estamos listos para nuestra canción de despedida. All right. Adiós, amigos.